I'm Bert Huang from Virginia Tech. Uh, part of my research is on machine learning algorithms for detecting cyberbullying. The modern internet is rapidly amplifying our ability to socially communicate with others around the world. Um, and with all the good things this amplification is providing, it also comes with the amplification of detrimental social behavior. Uh, cyberbullying is one of these detrimental behaviors. Bullying is linked to mental health issues like depression and suicide, and cyberbullying may be even more dangerous. Uh, it can happen anytime, anywhere, it can be persistent, and it can be very public. The toxic online social experience this can create is a serious health threat to our nation's youth. So computer programs that automatically detect online, online harassment could do things like providing automatic interventions, like providing advice to people involved in bullying. But we don't yet have machine learning algorithms that can handle the scale, uh, the structure, and the, the rapidly changing nature of cyberbullying. So my group is working on algorithms that attempt to do these things. Uh, like the one, uh, the one illustrated here uses something called weak supervision, where the input to the algorithm isn't somebody labeling each individual interaction as whether it's bullying, but instead general indicators of bullying, like offensive language. Um, the algorithm then uses that information and extrapolates it using social media data. It looks at the data and says, who's using this language? Who's, who's the language directed at? Um, and the overall social structure in the, in the data. And overall, it then, it then, then does uh, dis uh, data-driven collective discovery of who's bullying, who's being bullied, and additional vocabulary that may indicate bullying. So phenomena like cyberbullying uh, are different in nature and structure than things we're used to modeling with machine learning. So there's lots of interesting research problems to solve. And as we solve them, we progress toward a world where computing can help improve people's lives in a deeply social and personal manner. That's what my research is trying to achieve here.